Hey, welcome back to the channel, and I'm Coach Evans here with Sip the Telefilms, and today we're going to be talking about good Lamar, bad Lamar from um, Sunday versus the Vikings. Let's go. So if this is your first time here, be sure to hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you like the content, and um, if you want to be updated or notified every time the new video drops, please hit the bell so you can be notified when they drop because they are random as you know what. But uh, today we're going to talk about good Lamar and bad Lamar. Well, let's get right into the bad Lamar first. All right, first play, again, first four plays I think of are, are bad Lamar, and let's just watch it and then we'll talk about it as it, you know, plays out. A little, not even a bubble screen. Maybe like a little road route to Hollywood. And this is just extremely inaccurate. Extremely inaccurate. Like, I'm going to just look at this view first. There's nothing footwork-wise or nothing D-line does to warrant this being this inaccurate in my eyes. If you see something different, uh, put it in the comment section. Defensive end freezes. It's just, just a bad throw. I, I don't know the way to explain it or break it down or uh, analyze it. It's just like a bad throw to me. Just a bad throw. Bad Lamar number one. Let's go to number two. Now go without now even though Lamar is the guy in our offense, and you know, some people, if you criticize him, you're a Lamar hater. I am not a Lamar hater. I am a fan big time. I'm with him. But nobody is without faults. And so he had he played bad in the first half, and we're gonna talk about it. Play two. Alright, let's see what happened. Uh, this should not have been on here. This should have been part of the good Lamar. So I put this video, I put this one in the wrong spot. So this should be good Lamar. Watch the accuracy of this throw. Just watch the accuracy. Away from the defender over here. Which button I need to press? Here it is. Dropped it right in the bucket. And you know you can't really see it because of the, the picture quality. But the ball is right here right now. You go lift ways forward. Now the ball is in in his hands. Now this dude is, is on Andrews, but by the time he actually puts his hand on Andrews, the ball's on the ground. Drop. But that should have been with the good Lamar. I screwed that up. Let's go to another bad Lamar. So that means I got three bad Lamar plays in. Just sailed. Sailed. And it looks like he definitely has heat coming, but let's see if that's a factor on, on his throw. He definitely has some heat coming. Empty set. They bring, they run a little stunt, bringing, bringing five. That's what, well, when he release it, he good. When he release it, he good. It's just tough to, they're so close, it's tough to get it over his head and into his hands. So it just, it's overthrown to him, it's overthrown to him, and thankfully it's overthrown to the safety back here too. I don't know if he meant to throw it away or what. But that's part of the bad Lamar. And part of this because of heat too. Part of that because of the heat. The heat he getting on it. I do like Bozeman looping around and picking up this outside guy though. I do like that. I do like that. All right. Next play. So, then this is the interception. This is the interception. Too high look. Too high look. Everybody in their mama knows we love Andrews over the middle. So, this guy doesn't, doesn't drop this way. Like... Like he does, he drops straight back. 
And when Andrew tried to work between the hashes, he just comes over, picks it off. Just watch. He don't drop at this angle. He drops straight back. This, up, this safety at the bottom will drop at the angle. See, the safety at the bottom already dropping at that angle. That top safety dropping straight back. He almost headed to the middle right now. And then when the ball's released, he's like, oh, I got it. Picked it off. And that's, that's film study on them. Film study on them. See if we can see what he's seeing from the back view. So here, here's the guy right here. Bottom of your screen. Y'all, you can't really see him. He's behind me. But you see the top of my head. He's behind my head. That's him right there. He drops straight back. You can even see his angle before he disappears off the screen. He drops straight back reading Lamar's eyes. And just look at Lamar's eyes. Straight to straight to Andrews. Never come off Andrews. So that's safe to just sitting there waiting. Waiting on him to throw the ball. Makes a great that's a that's that's all out effort right there. Kudos to this guy, whoever he is. That's all out effort to go get a pick, make a play for your team. That's great effort. Next play. All right. So early in the game, we would get a bunch of deep routes. Let me talk about it. We get a bunch of deep routes, and they were covering them. And they were getting pressure with these four guys, sometimes five. And we just didn't have a check down or a hot. And if we did, Lamar wasn't going to it. So now after halftime, he decides, okay, I better hit these check downs because the deeper routes are taking too long to get open. Or not coming open at all. And this is the result of it. This is, Pat Ricard, this is from Pat Ricard's drive. The drive he caught three t uh, three passes on. So first they use Ricard, you know, to kind of help with the end because this guy was kind of struggling a little bit. So that slows him down. Now they're running, let's see what the route combo is, the route concept is. You got uh, inverted corners, what I call it. That's what I think that is. I guess Mark's going to sit in the middle. And I'm not sure what this is. Is it a post or what? Let's see what that is. Nah, they're running stops. I was wrong. They're running all stops. That I guess they they trying to get to the stick and stop. Um, okay. But he got two check downs on this one. He got this guy here, and he has record. And so you know he checked it down to record. And record didn't get the first. But he got us close enough to go for it on fourth down. And this is, I put this in good Lamar because of decision making. Because he didn't try to force the ball to any of these guys around these, um, around the first down marker. So he didn't try to force it to any of these guys. The only option that probably he could have maybe forced it to was Bateman right here in this little spot. But he would have had to come back to the ball and still would have been short. So, and then, and then if, he, if his body is turned that way, this guy's probably open toward the top anyway. So, I, I think this is the best best option for him. That's why I put this on good Lamar. Good decision, more than anything. Just see if he can break a tackle and get it. And he almost, he got two yards short. And we was we was able to go for it on the next down with um, um, Devontae Freeman getting on the on outside run. All right, let's go to the next good Lamar. A little play action. And I like because of the timer route. We don't throw a lot of timer routes. We throw a lot of deep balls. But this is a good timer route with uh with Andrews. Good timer route. So you got you're gonna have the play action to Devontae. Then you're gonna boot out, and as he boots out and set his feet, you'll see Andrews up here wherever the yard marker is stopping on his comeback route. Boom! I throw it. Great timing. Great timing. It's hard to defend that as a defender. That these are the kind of routes that Anthony Avery get, got beat on as um with the coach game, the, the timer routes. I mean, as a defender, you can't really stop that because you got to protect the deep. And if they throw it on time, the good mechanics, no pressure. I will keep pressing the wrong button. Good mechanics, no pressure. Everybody doing their job. Nice easy throw. First down. All right, play seven. Let's see what we got going on here. Do you like more play action? Oh, I love this. This is Andrews again. 
This is the RPO. It's the RPO. And I'm gonna highlight the read guy. So technically, it, this one read guy, and I think it's him, but the way they lined up, it's two guys you gotta read. And they help this read out by blitzing. Both of these guys blitz, which make the read easy. So now all he gotta do is make sure he win inside. He can't let this guy cross his face. That's what he can't do. He does a good job of flattening it out. Especially with those guys blitzing. Andrews does a great job of flattening it out. And you'll see from the back view how tight of a window this is when Lamar fits that in there. Let's see, from, let's see the back side of it. Watch how tight this window is. Both of them blitzing help it. Boom. Low and away. Low and away. Oh, wrong button. Low and away. That's what we need. And that protects that protects the ball and that protects Andrews too. That way if somebody's trying to come down here from here, he can catch it and get down if need be. Low and away. Low low and away from the defender, I mean. Not low and away like as far as outside, but low and away from the defender. Play eight. And I say this is good, Lamar. Because look at the placement. Look at the placement of the ball. Duvernay's running the under Sam over Mike. So he's going under Sam right here. Then over Mike is 54, trying to make his way to the back of the end zone. And you see 55, which is Bar trying to pass him off to Kitchens. But I, I don't think Kitchens ever even looks at him. Yeah, Kitchens never even looked at him. He's worried about Lamar running the ball. Both of them focus on Lamar running the ball, which allows Duvernay to sink behind. And Lamar does a good job of getting it over his head and, you know, dropping it off in the end zone before he can um, react to it. Good, great catch. Great catch. Great catch. All right. And for this is the this is the last play, which is one of my favorite plays. Watch. Watch Hollywood's route on this. Watch all the nuance and, and devil and dabble he puts on this route, but still gets where he's supposed to be. At a certain time. Just focus on Hollywood to start with. Pushing out, trying to widen the corner. Now push in like he finna press that seam. Now the corner got a speed turn. Boom. Set his foot down. Got him all mis discombobulated. Balls on time. And all this is just a deep out. Not a comeback, just a deep out. But the great route by Hollywood. Great route by Hollywood. Look, Lamar. Lamar, he's number one. He's the number one receiver the whole time. Lamar eyes don't come off of him. Hollywood's the number one guy the whole time. Boom. Great freaking route by Hollywood. Ball on time. Before the defender can get there. This is my favorite route throw slash route of the entire game. Pocket clean. Even though when we look at the back, you'll see. The pocket will be clean if I put the back view on there. Clean pocket. Wide open. Let's see how wide open he is when the ball gets there. Right there. Easy. And the ball probably could have been a little bit more here, but that ain't going to be tedious. You know, if, if this is a perfect ball, he can't just get off the sideline. He probably scope. But we'll take that, that openness right there. Because we were bagged up. This, this, we were on like the four or five yard line, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what we were. Maybe the 10, maybe. Maybe I was wrong when I said five. Okay, we're on the 10. So this concludes. Matter of fact, let's do this. This concludes uh, this episode of Simply Tally Films. Uh, good Lamar versus Bad Lamar. First half, Lamar was not very good the team was not very good um about midway through the second quarter the defense started to play ball and then in that third quarter the offense started to play ball and, and keep in mind we won time we doubled them in time possession in the second half we had the ball 22 out of 30 minutes not including overtime 
second half we had the ball 22 out of 30 minutes. And that that was big, and that's how he was able to run the ball later on in the game. So next film session will be coming up soon. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, share if do if you need to, or I'd appreciate it if you share. And um, hey, I see y'all soon, man. Uh, game Thursday. If um, you're not going to the game, come to this channel, watch it with me. I'll be here. We'll be watching. We'll be talking about it. We'll be evaluating. See you soon. Peace. We'll be right